Welcome back to A Taste of K. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I make Haitian pumpkin soup, which is known as soup jumeau. Every January 1st marks a new year, but it is also when we as Haitians celebrate our Independence Day. We gain our independence on January 1st, 1804. Every year on the 1st of January, we eat soup jumeau, which has become our freedom soup. Stay tuned to see how I prepared this dish. Now here is the list of ingredients that I'll be using to prepare this dish. You can go ahead and pause the video here so you can take a look. To clean the meat, I used salt, lime, sour orange, as well as vinegar, and I also did use boiling water. To season the meat, I'll be using ground clove, one pack of sazon, two pack of chicken bouillon powder, onion powder, garlic powder, salt to taste, ground pepper, three tablespoons of epis. You can find a link in the description box on how I make my epis, and I'll also use the juice of one lime. After adding these ingredients, I'm going to mix until all of the meat is covered in this marinade. I'll allow this meat to marinate for 24 hours, but if you're in a rush and don't have the time, you can allow it to marinate for about two hours, but I marinated it overnight. I placed it in the fridge after I covered it with saran wrap, and the day that I was going to cook it, I did remove it from the fridge, and I'll allow it to sit on the counter until it got to room temperature. But it's not good to take meat right out the fridge and start cooking. You do have to allow it to get to room temperature first. In a big pot, I'm going to add two tablespoons of avocado oil and allow this oil to get hot. Feel free to use any oil of your choice. Avocado oil is just a preference of mine. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to add the meat and I'll allow this meat to cook for 15 minutes with the lid on.
While the meat is cooking, I'm going to start prepping some of the vegetables. Here I have the leeks, the cabbage, as well as the turnips. With the leeks, I'm only going to be using the white and the light green part. Make sure that you clean this thoroughly because it does have a lot of dirt. Here I have the turnip, which I removed the peel and then diced it into about one inch pieces. I have one habanero pepper, carrot, which I removed the peel as well and I slice it. I have culantro, parsley and thyme, celery, as well as cabbage. After the meat have been cooking for 15 minutes, as you can see, it started to produce its own liquid, but I'm going to add two cups of hot boiling water. I'm going to be using the same bowl that I had the meat marinating. Once I add the water, I'm going to add the leeks as well as the celery. I'm going to cover and allow it to cook for 45 minutes on medium high. Now for the start of the show, I'm going to be using calabasa squash, but if you don't have this, you can use buttered cup, acorn, butternut, or even frozen squash. I did peel it and cut it into smaller pieces. In a separate pot, I added the calabasa squash as well as 12 cups of water. I'll cook this until the squash is fork tender. As you can see, the squash is done cooking. I'm going to allow it to cool before adding it to a blender, and I'll blend it using the same liquid until it is a nice, smooth consistency. To ensure that there is no lumps in the squash, I'm going to pass it through a strainer. After blending the squash with the water that I cooked the squash in, this is what we're left with. After the meat has been cooking for 45 minutes, I'm going to add the pureed squash, the culantro, habanero pepper, turnip, as well as the parsley and thyme.
With the yellow yam, I removed the peel, I cut it into small pieces, gave it a good rinse, then I placed it in a bowl with water and the juice of one lime to help retain the yellow color, that way the yam won't turn dark. With the potato, I removed the peel as well and cut it into small pieces and placed it in a bowl of water. After the soup has been boiling for about 10 minutes, after I added the turnips, the culantro, and the other ingredients, I did give it a taste to see if I needed to make any adjustment. I went ahead and added some ground clove, ground pepper, some salt, onion powder, as well as garlic powder. I'm also adding the yellow yam, cabbage, as well as carrots. The potato I'll add towards the end because it doesn't take a lot of time to cook the potatoes and I don't want the potatoes to turn to mush. When it came time to add the potatoes to the pot, I noticed that my pot was a little on the smaller side, so I did go ahead and split the soup into two separate pots. I also added four cups of boiling water to the soup. I also added the long macaroni as well as the curly Haitian pasta, which I know as vermicelli. The brand of pasta that I'm using is the Carolina Macaroni. The Carolina Macaroni was a long macaroni noodle that I did break into smaller pieces. I'm also using the Carolina Curled Haitian Pasta. It's very similar to uh, Angel Hair. I know it by Vermesil. So if you can't find this brand of pasta, you can always use the Rigatoni Noodle as well as Vermesil or even Angel Hair Pasta. The purpose of me adding the four cups of the hot boiling water is to allow the soup to have enough broth to finish cooking the pasta. The longer the soup cooks and the pasta starts to cook, the soup will start to thicken up. Once the pasta is done cooking, I'm going to add the final ingredient, which is going to be two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'll allow this to simmer for about five more minutes and it's time to eat. Now there you have it, Haitian pumpkin soup, known as soup jumu. 
which is typically eaten on New Year's Day, which is the day that we celebrate our Haitian Independence Day. I want to say thank you for stopping by A Taste of K. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can share with your friends and family. I'll see you in the next video.